naturally, um, diversity and inclusion is hugely important uh, for Hilton. Hilton um, and our CEO, Chris Bassetta, is um, proudly says at Hilton, we are diverse by nature, but inclusive by choice. And this is really, really important if you think about it, because as a global company, you know, in Amir alone, we operate in 70 co different countries. But if you think across Asia Pacific and the Americas, how many different countries we operate in we, and how many guests from all over the world who travel from their own countries into hotels in different countries and cultures. So we have a, a, a guest a, a really, really uh, diverse guest base. But as because we operate in so many countries, we also have a very diverse um, employee uh, base. So we, we really, really work hard at diversity and inclusion in Hilton. So Hilton's diverse workforce is fundamental to the success of our business. We're very proud of the culture we've created and we're fully committed to being an environment where all our team members can thrive and Thrive is a program that we all enjoy at Hilton, which is where we can look at programs that kind of feed the mind, feed the soul, feed the physical soul and allow us to bring our authentic and best um, self to work. Um, Hilton's very honoured to be named number one West best workplace for women in the US and also in Turkey and number two best workplace in the, U in the UK for women. We're also very proud to have recently been included into the Diversity Inc. Hall of Fame. So, um, you know, Hilton Diversity and Inclusion. I would say as a big global company, we walk the walk and talk the talk genuinely. As a woman, that it was, you know, very, very important for me to join a company, especially a woman in hospitality and food and beverage, where we know we still have so much work to do around female leadership and hospitality. Um, and, and as Hillary Clinton famously said, women are the largest untapped reservoir of talent in the world. And given the recruitment challenges and obviously you're there supporting core, um, you know, it, it seems mad that, you know, we should we shouldn't be tapping in to 50 percent of the global population and the potential talent. So it's time for the industry to, you know, have really wide introspection and create gender parity to support future growth in the industry. I'm always asked, you know, what, what, what tips do you have for young people coming into hospitality or coming into restaurants and bars? Because we know it's, it's a challenging industry, but also it's a fun industry. And it's not, a, it's not a job or a role you can do as a job or a role. Most of us fall into it and, and we choose this industry because we absolutely love it. Um, we know we know historically it's been brutal, the hours, the long hours, the unsocial hours, we're working when people are partying, but obviously the industry is taking a good hard look at that and, you know, offering things like part-time working, flexible working hours, childcare support, shift timings, these are things we have to do because we also know that we need to look at, you know, we're currently working on a big project in my team to look at uh, uh, female leadership in our kitchens, you know, and, and we're very, we're very fortunate to work with chefs such as Sally Abbey and Anna Hoare and recently announced a pop-up collab collaboration with Asma Khan, you know, these are hero female culinary role models that we're really proud to work with in partnership in Hilton. I'm often asked, you know, because as you can see, I'm like, getting super old and, you know, being around, being, being in this industry for a long time. And people say, can you give us some hints and tips of things that, you know, you, 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 you've got for young aspiring people coming into this industry and, and women as well. And the first thing I'd say is have confidence and trust that you've earned your place at the table. You know, we're intrinsically wired to kind of question, oh, can I do that job? You know, oh, you know, what, why are they offering me that promotion? You've earned your place at the table. Somebody's seen something in you and given you that opportunity. So grab it with both hands. You know, you are offered that opportunity for a reason. And as women, we're, we're internally wired, a lot of us, to kind of focus on the 1% of things we think we can't do in a job role rather than actually being positive about the 90 odd percent we can do and, you know, worrying about the 1 or 10% that we can't do that we'll have to develop skills and technical knowledge to do. 
Um, and I think one of the biggest hints and tips I'll always give, unless there's any questions from the audience, is you know, surround yourself with great people, empower them, and let them do a great job. I'm a firm believer in that Steve Jobs famous quote where he said, you know, don't hire super smart, bright, intelligent people and then start telling them what to do. That is the worst thing. So I always feel that when I bring people into my team, the first thing they do is obviously have a very detailed induction because it's quite a complex old big business that we run in here at Hilton. But then allow them to write their strategy and their first deliverables. Naturally, we support and agree them with them. But, you know, we bring expertise into my team to kind of tell us what we don't know and what we need to do to, to improve our performance. So empower yourself, surround yourself with great people. Be, and I'm always trying to find people who are brighter, smarter, more intelligent than me because, and what they're going to bring to the team because it is the performance of the team that ultimately delivers our own personal success. And finally, always have a plan. Have great people around you and have a plan. I once was, was working in, in, in the pub industry in the UK way back when, and I, I inherited a region that was, you know, for a polite word, was a burning platform, people-wise, financial-wise, performance-wise. And I was like, you know, in the depths of despair about what I was going to do. And a famous, famous lady in the UK, a lot of you may know, Gillian McLean. She's the CEO and founder of Drake & Morgan. She was working with me at the time and she just sat down over a glass of wine and I was like, oh, what are we going to do? Ah, you know, and everybody looks so great and I look so rubbish. Da, 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 da. And she said, Emma, you just need some great people around you and a plan. And she was absolutely right. And to this day, that was like 20 odd years ago. To this day, I still believe in having great people around you and a plan.